from Mary Hoskins. Today we celebrate Julian for all that he has contributed to our right to know. We condemn his arbitrary detention for 11 years and redouble our efforts to save his life and secure his release. Julian Assange is being punished for the extraordinary impact he's made in revealing the crimes of powerful states and for ensuring their widest publication by orchestrating a collaboration amongst the world's media, the likes of which has never been seen before. What was le less obvious, though, was the global network of eminent journalists he enlisted before that to verify documents, provide analysis and advice regarding the significance and to make redactions. The redactions had never been properly recognised because of the determination by those he exposed to attest, contrary to all evidence and their own inquiries, that he caused harm. No one has been harmed but the victims of the crimes he exposed, and for doing so, Julian himself. His health has deteriorated further following a stroke, and he is ever closer to extradition. The UK High Court's decision to accept untested US assurances that they will take into account his medical condition was based on superseded information as they failed to take into account that he had had a stroke. Though he has sought leave to appeal the UK's decision to extradite him, it is possible that leave will not be granted. <laughs> Though he might appeal to the European Court of Human Rights, the UK is likely to ignore their ruling and is set to reform laws that will guarantee they can. We call on our governments to demand the UK rescind the decision to extradite him and that the US drop the prosecution because of the impact it will have on press freedom worldwide. It is imperative our governments act to save the life of their citizen, whose health has all, been, all but been destroyed by this long-term persecution which UN rapporteur Nils Meltzer has unequivocally acknowledged is torture. Julian's achievement stands as an act of enormous courage, vision, principle and resourcefulness, and is arguably the greatest contribution to the pursuit of truth and justice made by an individual. Julian, you do not belong in jail. You should be free to enjoy life like those of us who have not risked what you have risked for democracy. Your children should have their dad and know he is a hero. Thank you, Mary.